Hi, my name is Joe Joseph, whatever you would like to call me. And today we are doing explore, exploring exploratories. So without further ado, the first class we'll be going to is culinary. All right, so why don't we take a peek? So it is located near the B-Wing and in the town square, AKA lunch area. The biggest goal of these classes is to help students build confidence in themselves um, and especially when they're in the kitchen setting, hopefully in general, but in the kitchen especially, so that they can feel that they can walk into a kitchen and have some basic skills to build recipes from scratch. Um, and we're really aiming to do pretty simple recipes with, for the most part, healthy ingredients um, so that they can have some basic knowledge to help them move forward in the future. For some students, I would hope that it would inspire them to maybe pursue culinary at the high school, so where they can really learn like working in a true restaurant setting, because at the high school they have that full restaurant. Um, and that can be a great career choice for many students. So two parts there. Um, one of the things I talked about with students, um, you know, when you're going for your first job, some of the best jobs and where they have the most availability for jobs is in restaurants. Um, so even things like doing the dishes, if that's something that if they can get the good some skills here, they can take with them. They'll have that confidence going in, working in a server position. Um, these are great um, introductory jobs that you can build into lifelong jobs. Um, I would say chef roles maybe as well. Um, ideally, we're hoping to build some skills like in our farm to table class, eventually we'll be maintaining our own gardens. So hopefully they can kind of take that with them. And that might, even if it's not a job they pursue, even a hobby that can be benefit beneficial. Um, I love getting to see kids have hands-on experiences um, every day and kind of learning through trial and error. I think that's really important. Um, we always say like, we're working for progress, not perfection. So that's the goal is to see, I love seeing them improve and learning so much. Um, I love the incite, excitement around this class and learning. Um, and it's been fun seeing them get to taste test their food at the end and um, see how good it is. My favorite part about it is that the grade six students and grade seven students get a chance to come again um, and we can keep building on what we've learned. And I can't imagine when my sixth graders are eighth graders, what that will look like having kids that have had this class for three years. I just am excited to think about all the, you know, skills they'll bring with them and confidence and to see how far we can push and go and what we do. Uh, right now we don't have our gardens up and going. I'm hoping to be that my students will be maintaining gardens um, throughout the year in here, both hydroponic and hopefully someday outside. Um, I'm hoping to start inviting people from the outside world in, whether it be from restaurants or from families to teach us about their culture and to share recipes with us. So I feel like we've done such a great job getting started and there's only so much more we can do. It's very exciting thinking about being here in five years and what it's gonna look like. Their favorite thing about this class, and I don't blame them, every time anyone comes into this class, the question is, are we eating today? Uh, and that's what we like to do, I think, is that getting to the point to where we're eating in class. That's the, that's the favorite thing.